This is That Statman. Just a quick, short and brief video on how to wire up the receiver to the boiler of the CP4i thermostat from EPH. Now we're going to run through quickly how to wire up the receiver to the boiler or wiring centre. I've got this currently set up on a 240 switch using a light bulb as you can see, to show switch live and the boiler coming on. Now, inside, you will see a little panel. Two screws would normally hold that in. You can remove that panel and it shows you all the connections. You'll notice I've linked live and common in there to get my 240 switch live coming out. Generally on a combi, it could be low voltage, um, if that's the case, then you need to wire from the PCB of the boiler. You will have two points for a low voltage thermostat. Uh, one from the boiler, one back to the boiler. So from the boiler would go to common, and then the switch live back to the boiler would go to number three on. And you would then just put 240 volts to live and neutral on that side. The other option you have is these black terminals here. This is for open therm connection, which will create a better, more efficient way to run your heating system. It can control flow temperatures, etc., much better. If your boiler is capable of running off open therm, this is a highly recommended method of connecting. That is very briefly how to wire the receiver. If you're not competent in electrics and dealing with low voltage and high voltage of 240 volts, please seek competent help in connecting this up. If you are a homeowner, DIYer, I seriously recommend an electrician. Do not come back to me because I will take no responsibility whatsoever. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.